From All Things Dentistry, the place where we're passionate about sharing those unwritten hints and tips of dentistry. Well, here's a very common problem that I've seen over the years in trying to tackle MB2. Here's MB1, distal buckle, palatal canal is right here. Everything's clean in shape and all we need to do is just tackle that MB2. But the problem that the clinician was talking about was that the, the file bends when they put it in and they're trying their hardest to get that file in there and starting to get frustrated. So I can completely understand as I'm sure you can. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to trough and there's the access to MB2. And this case is really easy to get into. You're like, oh, that's a piece of cake. But let me know in the comments below if you've taken a file and you place it into that type of situation and it bends. Because for some reason, MB2 likes to dive kind of head mesially a little bit horizontally and then dive apically. But what happens is they place it in and then the canal starts moving mesially and then it hits a kind of a ledge. It's not even a ledge, it hits a curve of the canal and it's difficult for it to kind of move in an S shape. So one of the solutions is just to take a Munspur and move that, move the orifice measly. Now the problem I ran into right here is that there's a lip, and I think the clinician ran into that same problem, is that there's a lip of dentin right there. So what we need to do, and it's a very simple procedure, you can use an ultrasonic, it's easier honestly to take the long shank diamond burr, and we're going to run it. This is an electric hand piece. We're going to run it maybe around 60,000 RPM. And we're just going to smooth that mesial wall. Okay, so what we've done is we've just taken a little bit of dentin away and we've smoothed the path for that Munzburr to get in there and make life so much easier. So now you can see it's a smooth path. It's easy to get my Munzburr in there and I'm using the purple Munzburr. You can use an endo tracer, and I'm going to move that orifice measly. What happened was the clinician was asking me, what are you doing? Are you moving it measly? And I said, yes. But in this situation, the orifice actually didn't move that much measly. It moved a little bit and then it start, started dropping apically. And what that allows us to do is now get our file in straight up and down. So one of the tips I'll add to this is just using cotton forceps to take your number six short file. You know what we're going to do is we're going to watch wind that file down to length. And you can see it kind of moves a little bit apically, or moves a little bit measly, but look at already. We've already got that file down, down to 17 mil, 16 mil. So we're on the right path. Hopefully that helps. It just gives you a couple little tips to try to smooth out that mesial wall and get your, get that file down to start engaging that apical, apical part of that MB2. Hopefully it helps. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, Ash here. And I wanted to take a second of your time just to introduce our course, Root Canal and Anodontist. We've had it for a couple years and we've had some amazing successes through it. Just confidence building on behalf of our students. And really what happened was a few years ago, I wanted to create a course to help others because I know what it's like on your endo journey. A lot of times you don't know what's going on. You don't know if you've ledged it. You don't know what to do if you blocked it. You don't even know if a curved canal, what to do. And what I wanted to do was take all my mistakes and my training for my residency and put it into a affordable online course for everyone around the world to join in. And it's been absolutely amazing. And I wanted to offer to you, check us out at allthingsendo.ca. Once you join the course, you get access into our private Facebook group where all of us answer questions. And I'm telling you, there are questions every day that you might be able to, I'm sure you'll be able to connect with because sometimes it's just it takes a little bit of courage to ask a question and then your outcome may be incredible. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you there. AllThingsEndo.ca. We'll talk to you soon.